Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, been here working at the Red Brick House and left out early this morning. Didn't get a chance to catch up with Get Up this morning. And I'm curious what they are saying about the Cowboys worth the, uh, you know, this win. I know it was just... Uh, just the Carolina Panthers, you know, just like last week, it was just the Giants, the Giants that beat the hell out of uh, the Washington Commanders. And I believe they got 10 sacks. How many times did they get to deck? Okay. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what Get Up has to say today. And so the Cowboys are building momentum as we go. And before we dive into the bigger Oops. picture, let's stay little. Dan, I know you like some things you saw from Dak, particularly in the pocket yesterday. Yeah, the consistency of his pocket movement, manipulation has been really good this year. And a lot mm. of us have talked about it. And it's, Greeny, if I go back to last year and remember some of the stuff that I had issues with, it was Dak wasn't seeing the field well and he wasn't moving the pocket. And it's not the case this year. And you have to give him credit for it. He's not only like made some plays with his legs, but he's kept plays alive. And I think that's a really good sign for who he is uh, moving forward, I, I think the two things that I walk away from this specific game are obviously the Dak Prescott pocket movement that I just talked about. And it I do it think sounds like it's hurting the, the Cowboys have to be honest. I, the, the, the Panthers the, got the, after the, them a little bit in their run game. There were four or five chunk runs that Carolina had yesterday. So when we're talking about Dallas, really good football team, but we're, they're going to have to beat Philly. They're going to have to beat San Francisco. Both those teams are chunk run game centric. So Good win. It was 17-10 with like 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And four drives for Dallas were kept alive by Panthers penalties. So I, both things can be true at the same time. I get it. You want to – every time you go out there on Sundays, you want a perfect game. You're mm -hmm. not going to get it. Yeah. If there's one thing that you can give up as a defense in modern football, it's going to be the running attack. A lot of the better defenses in football struggle against stopping the run. I wish they could fix it. I'm sure they wish they could fix it. Fix it. But when you have – Four to five really good pass rushers. Sometimes you're going to give up eight or 12 on a running game. I think they live with that, especially when they have a quarterback who can put up. But numbers. maybe the point is, that Dan is making here is that the teams they're going to have to beat to get where they want to go, go are teams that look like they could exploit that. Include the Lions in that conversation, maybe. Certainly the Eagles and the 49ers who have been their kryptonite. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I can't argue against the 49ers. They play well against the Eagles. They, they're, they're always competitive against the Eagles, yeah. no matter whether it's running or not. The 49ers is a question mark that it's going to change and the question is are the 49ers going to be fully healthy and are they going to be at their best form when they feel play like the Cowboys yep. are best in a high scoring game right they, yeah. they want like a game where there's a lot going on because that's when their defense makes big plays mm -hmm. that's what they yeah. do that's their true. defense doesn't necessarily shut you down Carolina is hardly even worth talking about but generally speaking, they're going to make a big play. They're going to get a pick six. They're going to get mm -hmm. a big sack strip fumble, that kind of thing. Are they good enough this year to beat the big boys in the NFC? I think they are. Now, look, San Francisco might be a, an issue because they match up so well against Dallas. However, anybody else, man, I'm right. taking them. And I'm going to tell you why. 61% win rate, pass rush win rate. Mm -hmm. That's what the Cowboys are. That's the best over the last five years. That includes that mm. great pass rush that Danny had last year. Yeah. This team is rushing the passer at a, at a better pass uh, win rate than they did. So to me, once you get a lead, this team gets a lead, they can put you out. They, they, can, clint, they, they can definitely uh, knock you out. This mm -hmm. offense, to me, is way more efficient the last several weeks than they've been all season. So to me, they're, they're hitting their stride. Look, Carolina never looked great, right? Yeah. Carolina's actually got a really good defense. Much better than Philadelphia's defense, yep. all right? And mm -hmm. right there with maybe not San Francisco, but Detroit, certainly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, to me, I, I think that this team mm -hmm. is going to be, at the end of the day, they're going to be right there. Again, they've got Washington Thursday, the traditional Thanksgiving. Then they play the Yay. following Thursday against Seattle. And then they get the big showdown at home against Philly. They'll have a mini buy going into that game. That will be a magnificent one to watch. Then speaking of maintaining your confidence... How much did you Man. love this? C.J. Stroud had a big day, but he also okay. threw three picks. All right, today. so there we have it. Let, let me go ahead and kill it. I, like I said, I, I have to check on him because, you know, I always like to hear what, what trash that they like to talk about the Cowboys and tell us how much we're ass-ass and sucks and how much it doesn't mean anything. But for Rex Ryan to say that, you know, 
the Cowboys can play with just about anybody was kind of surprising. I guess maybe maybe the tide's turning a little bit that now the Cowboys are finally beginning to get a little respect. But quite frankly, I, I, I worry about that because I like it when they, they look down at the Cowboys and they say, you know, we suck. And I'd rather have my team not big headed. OK, I'd rather them to be felt like they got a chip on their shoulder and that they got something to prove. Um, they're better that way. You know, you, you can get complacent and think that all we got to do is show up. And before you know it, boom, you just all of a sudden the onslaught is on and you look like ass ass. And you're getting laughed at on Monday. So for me, I'd rather have my team um, hungry and definitely uh, doing better things. Maybe in some regard, you're going to say that I'm such a homer, I'm sure, because that's what people always say, that I'm full of caca, uh, and that's fine. Um, but I think the Cowboys may be better suited because they did lose some of those games, that they did lose to San Francisco, that they did lose to the Eagles, um, because that's going to make you hungry and focused on being better had they won those two games you could get real big headed and then come playoff time then things aren't going to go your way now we're looking at the warm-ups here at uh kansas city it's kind of chilly there and it's raining so this is going to be a sloppy game this is going to be interesting and i hate to say that with the rain it may favor the eagles and their running game although jalen hurts hasn't been running well and i don't know that he wants to run on a wet field it looks like he is wearing the brace. He's wearing the brace in there because I can guarantee you he does not want to slip uh, in this and really do some damage. So we'll see how the Kansas City Chiefs uh, take care of the Eagles and see how the Eagles play without Dallas Goddard. Uh, for me, you know, I'm a big tight end guy. I think, um, pause, pause. I think that tight ends are the key on the offense. I'm happy that uh, Ferguson is coming along. I'm happy that Schoonmaker is beginning to make some plays. And I can't wait to see Hendershot get into the mix. So hopefully you guys will tune in. We'll be live streaming in about uh, 40 minutes for kickoff. And in the meantime, I need to get myself a little something to eat and get cleaned up. And... Uh, Let's see if we have a great game. Look, it's raining so much that the cameras are wet, and it's kind of like you're getting the whole prism where the lights just kind of diffused. So, yeah, this is going to be an old-school game right here. All right, I'm Mark Holmes, and shout-out to the Commanders. My home team, my loyalty, I'm at Uptown Royalty. We fight for all DC, who are we? I speak facts, facts I'm not making riddles The Hawks open big old holes for John Riggles Chantel is on the team And you knew that he was smashing Daryl Green is on the team And you know nobody faster Thought you was gonna score But I knew that he would catch up And Doug Williams was the first black quarterback To win the big Got three rings when in the big dance When you got Joe Gibbs, you got a good chance Let me tell you something about some good fans Back in the day, RFK was our palace If you don't know, you need to ask about us Think we gonna lose? Well, I can't believe your doubters Had a whole crowd screaming out We want Dallas No, you don't. You don't want Dallas. You don't. Trust me. You don't want Dallas. I'll see you soon, good people. Peace.